Let's have some fun taking a trip to South Padre Island, Texas. First things first, we've got to fill up with gas. I spent $36 on gas this fill up and each gallon cost me $3. So my question is how many gallons did I buy? Can you help me figure that out? So how much did each gallon cost? Okay, awesome, $3. So I'm gonna start making groups like this that are $3, okay? And then I'm going to see how many of those I can make to get up to 36. So here's one gallon, okay? I'll kind of make this look like a strip diagram as I go. Here's another three. So how much total dollars is that? Six. Okay. Now, why don't you pause the video and see if you can finish figuring out how many gallons. So see if you can get up to $36. Then we'll come back and check your work. Okay, let's pause there and check and see how we're doing. So I like a three song that helps me count by threes. It's kind of catchy, it might get stuck in your head, um, but it helps me memorize those threes. So three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24. Let's keep going, we gotta get to 36. 27, 30. Okay, now I'm at 30. What's the next one? 33. Okay, what's the next one? 36. Okay, I've reached the total that I needed for gas was $36. I can make this look like a strip diagram now by making this part the total. And now I know how big to make it, okay? Now, looking at this strip diagram, how do I know my answer? So I wanna know how many gallons I bought. What can we do? Okay, some of you are saying to count up those threes. Okay, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Okay, awesome. What do you think? Did I buy 12 gallons? Yes, I did. Let's go find some shells. So this is Livy and Harper. Livy's on the lot. She collected five bags of shells with nine shells in each bag. I collected four bags of shells with eight shells in each bag. How many more shells did Livy collect? Okay, so for this problem, I got out one baggie that Livy collected, so there's the nine shells, and one baggie that I collected, which is the eight shells. And so we're, I'm gonna make a little bit of a different strip diagram um, than the last couple, and I'll show you why. So I'm gonna start showing Livy's bags. So she had Here's one bag with nine, right? And how many bags did she collect? Okay, awesome. Five. And I'm gonna do my best to make them pretty equal in size. It's, you know, probably not gonna be perfect, but that's okay. Just as good as I can do. 
Okay, there's four bags. And then we have five bags. Okay, then I'm going to show my bags and I'm going to line it up right with this strip. Okay, so right underneath. Okay, and how many shells did I collect in one bag? Okay, good. Eight. So the important part here is to show that with my strip diagram. I wouldn't want to make it the same exact size because it's a little bit less, right? So I'm going to make my groups, my bags, a little bit smaller than Libby's bags. And then it'll look a little bit more realistic of, you know, how many I collected compared to how many she collected. So there's two bags. How many bags did I collect? Okay, awesome. Four. So I'm going to make four of these. Okay. And then, then I asked myself, okay, well, what was the question asking? So I kind of can tell um, some steps that I should do to figure out Livy's shells and my shells. But then what is the final question here? Okay, you got it. We want to know how many more Olivia or Livy collected compared to me. And so that means I want to know this space right here. How many more did she collect compared to this spot that I collected? Okay, so let's stop and figure this out. So what do you think I should do first? It's kind of hard to know how much that is until I maybe do a step to figure out some things. What do you think? Okay, awesome. Let's figure out how many shells Livy collected. So what is that? That's uh, one, two, three, four, five groups of nine. Okay, can you pause the video and figure that out? And then also, Pause the video to figure out my shells. And then we'll be able to check your work. Okay, I think a lot of you got 45 shells for Livy's bags. And 32 shells for my bags. Okay, now we've got some numbers that we can work with here. So now I want you to pause the video again, see if you can figure out how many more Livy collected than I did. And we'll check your work. Okay, I'm gonna work it out down here, see if you got the same thing. So I know just by looking at it that if I added those two numbers, I am going to get a bigger number. And do I even have that many shells? Does, does Livy even have that many shells? No, she doesn't. So I don't want to add. That would be if the question said, you know, what is the total amount of shells that these two people collected? But I want to know how many more she collected than me. So I am going to subtract. Okay, it looks like she collected 13 more shells than me. Okay, and what could we do to check our work? What can we do to see if that's correct? Look at my strip diagram now. Now it's looking a little bit more like, you know, I've got a total up here, the 45. And then I've got this chunk is 32. This chunk is 13. What can I do with those two numbers? Okay, awesome. I can add them up. Let's see if we get that top number, the 45. Yay, I did. So that means my strip diagram is correct. I always like checking it out just to make sure. And everything checked out. All right, great work. Great work today. 
keep practicing those problem solving skills. I hope this helped you in your math class or at home. Bye.